What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more My Hero Academia. Today we're doing season six, episode two. This one is called Mirko, the number five hero. And if it's called that, especially with the way last episode ended and the way you guys were hyping her up in the comments, obviously, I can't wait for this episode. I can't wait for more Mirko, some thick thigh, rabbity goodness. That sounded so wrong coming out, but you know exactly what I mean. Hopefully, you guys are excited as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you want to check out the full length uncut version of this episode as well as the other shows i'm watching early access as well um check out that patreon links are down below make sure you guys subscribe click that bell i don't know if i already said that it's 2 30 in the morning i'm tired as all hell let's get into this my hero academia season six episode two mirko the number five hero let's do it okay exactly where we left off any excuse they have to show me this again i am a thankful boy Ooh. Oh my god, R.I.P. Johnny though. Little baby Nomu. Ooh, I don't know if I really should be saying that. But look at this woman. Is he mourning Johnny? Was that when he first showed Johnny to all for one? R.I.P. Johnny. Look at them thighs. All those Nomus. Yeah, this is the real Gareki. This is the real Dr. Ujiko. Yes, you will. Also, I love seeing the wild, wild pussycats here. Ever since their introduction in season three, I've always liked them. Yeah, I completely forgot about the Nomu in the whale Nomu's mouth. Like, what the hell? Hit him with a full fledged fucking jet burn flash fire fist. Rock lock. Oh, I love it. Just stationary shield. Oh, I've always wanted to see more of the top 10 as well. Mirko, amazing. Don't, what, what's his name? Like, Crust, right? The one we just saw? Mantle? Something like that. And don't get me wrong. Our number one hero, I'm always pleasantly surprised seeing. Literally eviscerate no moves. I love seeing that. Imagine how much content we're going to get at this hospital. And then they cut over to Edshot's team. And we just get even more content at the fucking mountain villa, whatever. Yeah, so these are more like peon nomus, poor things, because they were people at one point. Crust, number six hero. You can create shields from anywhere. Okay, Reinhardt, chill out. <laughs> He's like, please do not kick me. Please do not kick me. You will rip my head off. Hood, is that the one who fought in Endeavor? That's the little Nomu we saw in the briefing. Mo Mo is that Mocha or Mocha? Oh, and it's using twice his quirk to be able to make more doubles? Like bottling them, right? He's been like bottling quirks, keeping them physical forms. Oh no, these are the, these are the stronger Nomus. High ends, if they're anything like Hood, the other high end who fucking almost killed Endeavor, then this should be quite crazy. They even know about the top 10 heroes. Man, that goddamn chair, bro. I can't get over that. That thing is too OP. Hey, she is a savage and she wants all the smoke and I am here for it. Look at that commercial cutaway of her. Oh my god, them thighs, bro. I can't get over it. So their corpse is the the base. So corpse with multiple quirks and they're only remote controlled. Okay, so we have upper tier, middle tier, lower tier. The peons, one of the ones that attacked like... uh. When Stain during season two, when uh, Tomura used them, and then upper tier, which is like our boy No Moon the first season. And then we got, I'm assuming, high end as well, even above upper. High ends are even higher than tier one No Moon. Independent advanced thinking that reflect the personality when they were alive. 
I can't believe how much lore and in-depth we're going. Goodbye. They were dead already. Yes, they absolutely were. We've lost Johnny with Warp and Mocha, who had twice his double. Oh, my God. They were the cutest of all the normals, though. Homer is only at 71%. Oh, my God. Oh my, oh my god, those thick thighs, those thick thighs literally save lives. And I saw some rabbits in my front yard earlier today. They were amazing, and she's even more amazing than them. With the music going on right now, too? She's redirecting midair? Running all oh my god, this woman! Oh, that hair is dangerous. Oh, she like has her arms trapped, but she doesn't need her arms. She only needs her legs. The Luna ring. Oh my God, that moonlight ring. She's still getting beat up, but she is putting in work. She is a fucking savage. She's fighting through all this. She lost her literal left arm. Even though I will die, please squeeze me between them thighs anytime you want. Oh my god, she ripped his fucking head off. I love how everything has Luna. I don't know why, but I need to know her entire moveset. We full-fledged lost an arm, though. This is getting serious and dark and fast. Oh my god, the number five hero, Mirko. I'm so glad they titled this episode after her. See, we're cutting over to Edshot's team, even though right now I'm so invested in Mirko and her fight. I'm so excited to see more of Edshot's team. That's the number one thing I'm hoping. I'm assuming we're going to have some death this season. I'm just hoping it's none of the kids. Like, I'm already butthurt we lost Mirko's arm. <laughs> I get, I've been there. Not for this dangerous, but I've been there. I know what you feel like. Hey, the Guitar Brothers. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's just saying in general. You have it. Have a little confidence in yourself. Oh, we actually get to see Cementos in action. We never get to see him go full out. Of course, you're not going to take blame. It is technically twice his fault, but you had some prior knowledge as well. Holy shit, look at Cementos go ham. Cementos is so good and strong in this modern world, you know? Oh, who is this? What are we watching? JoJo's? Let's flip the switch? Like, he is such a good utility person to have. Look at that. There's not a modern city in here that, like, in this world that doesn't have cement somewhere. Ooh, that shot. Ooh, what is he thinking of right now? Is he thinking about the other students, his classmates? Oh, just like Jiro was thinking of him. It is. That completely reaffirmed his resolve for this, so I, I am psyched. We're going to have a lightning battle, liberation, and the revolution. We're definitely going to have a lightning off. With the music kicking in as well. Come on, Kaminari's gonna save the day right here. I love that they were guitar bros as well. I didn't know him and Jiro had a connection like that. I know she was 
with him when like they made his name chargeable and all that. He thinks of his friends from the bottom of his heart. Kaminari is that dude. With the music, the classic My Hero music going on too. I can't lie though. Thundernet, Supreme Discharge, his quirk looks sick. Ooh, he's gonna be a lightning rod and suck that in. Pause. Getting sucked up, no bullshit. The episode's ending. I'm so butthurt. I gotta wait another week. Seven days? Absolute no questions about it. MVP of this episode. They titled the damn thing after her. Mirko. Oh my god. Her quirk, Rabbit. She can do anything a rabbit can and more. Those thighs can save lives. That saying and praise was made for this woman. She lost an arm but in the valiant fight against five high-end Nomus. Oh my god, when she was getting captured left, right, or knocked back and was using kicks to, to, to absorb some of the shock and or use a double fucking splits kick against both of them. The loot, the I need to know her whole moveset. The Luna moves, using her thighs to squeeze off my boy's head. Like, she is amazing. She lives every day with the thought that she's going to die so she doesn't regret it when she does, when it actually does happen, you know? Like, goddamn. R.I.P. Johnny and Mocha. Got to give them the official R.I.P. But this is just, like, there's a reason they did no recap episode with this season. They knew this is going to be real deal holy feel. So they're like, we got to get into it. We got no time to waste. We got shit to do. You guys got shit to see. And then we cut over to Ed Shot's team finally. They're moving on theirs. Shouts out Cementos. He is his utility. And it's so great after seeing him uh, fix a bunch of shit and or set up arenas for us throughout his years of the staff, you know, UA. It's great seeing him finally be able to be a part of the fight and go all out and just take it so serious. I love how serious everyone's taking it. I love what Midnight said to Kaminari about it's really hard to imagine protecting someone you know, just in general, that you have no ideas there, like an imaginary person. It really made me think of what um, Corrin Halfhand said to Jon Snow in Game of Thrones. He's like, uh, some guy you never met is, you know, who's eating some fucking chicken out there in the world, who's never heard of you, never will hear you, never will think of you in your life. The only reason he's living, doing what he's doing right now, enjoying his life is because of bastards like you who have a duty and responsibility to uphold who don't care about the fame recognition any of that i just love that sort of mentality that it's hard to picture what you're actually doing when it's not directly in front of you but you need to be able to do it anyway and just think about what's in your heart the friends you have that's close i didn't realize him and jiro had a connection like that but i love it so much and it really reminds me of like mina ashido's and uh kami or kirishima's because they went to school back when they were younger. They're like, I can totally see them. Like, I'm not a huge shipper, especially for My Hero. I'm sure you guys are aware of the, the My Hero shippers. But if they ever did a thing where it was like Naruto and they did a huge time skip way later in the future and like Jiro and Kaminari got together, had kids, and then Kirishima and Ashido had kids and so, some amazing quirks, I would be very happy with that. Like, I'm really loving the character development we're getting. Shouts out Mirko, absolute MVP. Shouts out Crust doing some crazy shit endeavor uh race her head being amazing everyone 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 i can totally tell the 25 episode season this is gonna be is gonna be nothing but pure nut to butt balls to the wall action and i'm here for it hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out that patreon if you guys want the full uncut versions of this episode as well as the others later on uh don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad i'm out of it peace out